see how to select cable size based on ampere so last uh, one month the guys are asking for this one for uh, what's the formula of cable section how to do cable section based on ampere rating so that's why i take this video uh, now we are going to see how to select cable selection but i don't have any formula of cable selections but i have uh, some tricks uh, the how to select cable for direct without table so if you have a small calculator you can easily calculate this one so that's the purpose i make this video uh, first of all uh, we are going to see how to select cable size based on ampere so see here the inside, inside uh, cable sizes and ampere based on ampere I showed in here. First thing we need to know uh, what are the sizes of cable available in market and what are the standards of cable available. Uh, 0.5 square mm. Now I mentioned in square mm, 0.5 square mm and 1 square mm and then 2 square mm and the 2.5 and 4, uh, 6, 10, 16, 25, and 35, 50, 70, 90, sorry, 95, and then 120, 150, and 185, and then uh, 200, uh, 240, 300, 630, 800 and 1000. So these are the red size of cables available in market. So this is a very important to be known the cable sizes. 0 0.52 and 10 square mm up to 10 square mm cables are available in market. So after that we are going to see the ampere rating based on cable size. Uh, first thing we need to uh, no need for the cable size if so if we have ampere rating so we are directly find out the cable size the, I mentioned in here first four that means the first four sizes you're going to divide the uh, f multiplication of four that means the five you need to divide the five so for example you have a eight ampere you need to divide uh, five so you got 1.6 1.6 of our answer so that means you need to select for uh, 1.5 square mm so that's the thing we showed in here uh, so we are select for that time 1.5 so and then uh, for second for 15 ampere uh, for 20 ampere we divide for 5 so that for 4 so we need to select the 4 square mm so the first 4 steps that means the first 4 up to 30 ampere uh, we need to divide for 5 after 42 that means after 30 to 120 ampere you need to divide 4 so you got some answer so that's the answer for cable size so this is for one of the trick this is not for any of pharma this is for uh, blind trick that means uh, uh, approximately values so after that after the 125 ampere you need to divide 2 so see here if you have a 60 ampere you need to divide 4 you got a 16 so we are result for 16 square mm so for 125 you need to divide for 4 and then 150 above the 125 we need to divide for 2 so we got a some answer so 75 for 150 ampere we got a 75 so more or less nearly 70 so we need we take for 70 for 200 we divide by 2 for 100 the more or less we take for 95 so so that's the thing we need to select cable this is this is a for, for one of the blind trick that means the approximately value of cable selection uh, for 600 we are going to divide for 600 ampere 300 that means the 3, 3 300 square mm cable we need to select on here so that's the thing I mentioned here for 1000 
we divide that to for 500 we got our answer 500 so we need to fill for 630 cable size that means 630 square ohm so this is the thing we are going to select for up to 2000 2000 ampere so this is a simple trick where you need to very quickly calculate the cable size after that see here for a 1000 ampere we got 800 but we don't put 800 we make a 2 into 630 that means the for if you we increasing load in future we select for 2 into 630 that means we put a two cables of 630 so this is the thing we are going to select the cable sizes based on the ampere for the blind calculation uh, after that i showed with the 100 percentage perfect and original calculation of how to we select the cable size based on the factors so before that we need to collect some data so how to select the cable sizes and based on the ampere so that data is what are the this data uh, first one is uh, lot of tens that means the first one is we need to select current rating so full load current rating what's the current rating of full load for the cable that means our load and the second one is voltage drop that means the how long how much distance we take so that's based on voltage drop will be occurred on the side and then we need to check in rush current that means the instantaneous current increase that means the inter interest current and then after that short circuit current that means short circuit current temperature so we mentioned in short circuit current and then a length of cable that means the how much length you need to lay in the cable so this is the thing we need to uh, consider on selection of cable so these are the all factor we need to select the cable so this is the original selection of cable size the first one is selection the maximum current rating k1 and voltage drop k2 and inrush current k3 and shutter width k4 and length and k5 so we are going to finding some values of based on the above five factors k1 k2 and k3 and k4 k5 so the which one is maximum value of any above value uh, that one is called for that one is we need to select on here for uh, original cable size rating on here see here so for example uh, 10 ampere uh, sorry 10 square amount 20 square amount and then 20 base square amount and 20 base square amount and then 20 base square amount that means uh, the final value is 20 base square amount cable is correct value of the based on ampere so that's the thing we need to select for cable size so the above factors are how to we select and how to we are finding this factor so that's the thing i show in next video uh, if you have any doubts please come on here uh, before that i show you how to we select the cable size cable data uh, first one current rating that means the single phase or three phase single phase supply or three phase supply and then voltage draw uh, that means the, how much voltage you want 230 or 220 or anything and then insulation that means IEC and the XFL insulation type those, those are the insulation type are available and then number of cores that means a single core and three cores so the all the factors we need to consider before the selection of cable based on ampere not only we select for based on ampere and then insulation where the place we are going to install the cable so that's the thing also be very important on here insulation method that means you have to install for some hottest area and the spacing between the cables that means the space between the each other cables and then groups of cables the how many cables you are going to lay in and this is the these are the all factor we need to select before the selection of cables not only we are select cable based on ampere so first thing we need to consider this one so lot of guys are instead interested for the based on ampere this is the all the factor we are considered to select cable size so that one is 100 percentage original cable size of uh, cable selection if you have any doubts please comment here uh, 
thanks for watching my video uh, if you have any more doubts of this video please comment here and, and then see you later see you next video thank you bye